Good day, YouTube. Ryan Jake Lambin here. I'm gonna talk to you about my new game, Whip the Vote, which is very relevant. It's all about U.S. politics, and uh, <laughs> um, um, it's based on the. Um, I can't keep doing that accent. I'm I'm a terrible Australian. It's based on the first season of House of Cards, like of, like Frank Underwood in House of Cards. You play the Democratic Whip in Congress and um, so here in the first bill we have Defense of Marriage Against Supreme Court Marriage Redefinition Act. It's a Republican bill. That's why it's all so much red. Uh, designed by this T-Gram fellow over here. Um, and because this is a, a uh, redefinition of the Supreme Court um, definition, it's gonna cost them a three-fifths majority. They have to get 60% of the cast vote, which is higher than normal. Normally you only need like 50%. So this is a special bill. Um, lobby's going out for it. So there's gonna be money flooding all the reps as the lobby pours money into this bill trying to get it passed. Um, and we are starting off with not very good um, numbers. Look at all these fours and strongly fours and this guy this guy flipped on us there's the only Democrat who's, who's going for probably because his polling numbers are so low against his rival G.I. Casey um, polling well in California because they think he's a, a G.I. Joe or something so S. Roach um, I'm gonna say Stuart Roach uh, he has he has a high conscience um, in his voting preferences. Voting preference is basically the uh, personality of each of these NPCs. So um, a conscience and having a high conscience in this game um, kind of means what, what you think it would mean. He, he has his views and he sticks to them and he you know, uh, fights for what he thinks is right. But it also means that um, he values himself. Uh, not just his opinions, but uh, his ability to be the one giving his opinions, uh, giving his votes on bills. So the fact that he's polling really low in his home state, which controls his seat, um, means he's he's liable to, if he doesn't care too much about uh, one way or the other on the subject of a bill, uh, maybe he doesn't quite care if gays get to marry or not, um, then that means he might uh, flip for money, so we should probably promise him some money as well. And there you go, he's now strongly in opposition to the bill. All it took was a, a promise, a bit of money for uh, election time. Um, so that used up one turn, we have 20 turns on each bill, and in that turn, um, the Republican whip, our opponent in this game, uh, also took a turn. He sp met with uh, Montana Representative T. Nicholson. He highly values um, the district he's in. He hi highly values Montana, um, which are overwhelmingly a little 60% uh, against this bill. So that's why it's blue here instead of red. So let's encourage the citizens uh, to, to contact them and tell them and that changed him to undecided. That's not bad, not great. Republican Whip met with K. Mari, I'm gonna say Kevin Mari, and uh, he's strongly in favor of the bill, even though his state is against it, and he values his state, so I kinda wonder, in this you can see that uh, it's clearly that the Republican Whip added some pork for him. Um, and the last guy, which is probably why he was still undecided, even after we, we gave him some money. So uh, what pork does is uh, it adds a, an amendment to the bill to send some, it has nothing to do with the bill, but it adds an amendment so that um, his state, in this case, um, K. Maury's state of Kentucky, can get some money and uh, it'll increase his favor when he comes back home. But he cares about his district a lot, so that's why he did it. Um, we were able to bring him down from strongly to in favor. 
by getting his constituents to contact him. I think we'll move on. Let's see what we got here. Um, Tina Tolson <laughs> from uh, West Virginia. Her constituents are not in favor of this bill. And she has a caucus of uh, SR Burlingame. I'm not going to try and guess what those letters stand for. And Bob Roberts, Robbie Rob, he's in favor of his district and his conscience. He's got a low standing for his caucus, but the way caucuses work is that whatever opinion the leader takes, uh, Tina here, um, will will uh, trickle down <laughs> to her her uh, caucus members. So if we encourage her citizens. Uh, now she's still strongly in favor though. Let's give her some money. Yeah, she could. All right, there we go. Now she's strongly in opposition to the bill. And we got Berlin Game as well to be in opposition. And we got Bob Roberts undecided. So that's the power of a caucus leader. Um, so let's see what else we can do. NV Clark. Well, she has a high caucus. Uh, but she's not in a caucus, so that doesn't really matter. She's got a high uh, party rating, which means she likes to tow the party line. Um, we could maybe encourage her citizens, but that's the third most important thing. And last important thing is her conscience. So, p -p 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 let's go. Let's go to. Let's try and turn some undecideds some of our democratic undecideds. Um, so he favors his district. Let's just, there we go. We got him in opposition. Um, someone else left as well, didn't they? Who was, must have been him. Um, T. Tolson got flipped back just then by the Republican whip. You notice that uh, it took him uh, an extra turn to do that. That's because the way these turns work is we both do something at the same time and of course I can't see what he does on that turn and and neither can he. He can't see what I did. He can't see um, until the next turn so he, he, there's a delay in turns before he can really act on something I've done. So it took him that long to flip T. Tolson back and I think we'll, we'll flip her back, but later. For now, let's get Woodson. Um, yep, yeah, we'll encourage him. He's now in opposition. Where'd all these people come from? I Montgomery flipped. Tavener flipped. Uh, because she's in the caucus of uh, DeWitt, probably, is what did it. And he was flipped probably to do with money because he's pulling so terribly against um, N.T. Underwood, Naomi um, Turner Underwood. And so for Stuart DeWitt, we'll promise him some money and that got him back on our side. What can we do about I. Montgomery? Let's, let's threaten to fund her opposition. There we go. That got her on board. Hmm. All right, and so we're at nine turns now, and I want to tell you about T.K. Humphreys. This guy, he flips on a dime, and he's got a huge caucus, um, the largest in the oh, uh, this whole starting uh, representative lineup. He has the biggest caucus, huge caucus, huge. So we're gonna try to pull off a, a trick here. When we get to the last turn, whatever I do, the uh, Republican whip cannot respond. So having a guy like TK who flips on a dime, let me just show you. Let me just show you how fast this guy flips. So I'm just gonna promise him some money. He's currently in favor of the bill. And now he's strongly in opposition of the bill. That is how fast TK Humphrey flips. So I'm not gonna do, an, he, he's, the Republican whip is gonna, in the next turn, once he sees what's happened, we'll flip him back, guaranteed. So 
Let's see if we can turn some of the... See, undecided, undecided, undecided. They all turned undecided when TK did. Uh, Naomi Underwood still held out. So let's see if we can't turn her, give her a little bit of an extra push. Um, we'll threaten to fund her opposition. She's still strongly in favor of the bill, but that's because Republican Whip got to TK. Now he's strongly in favor of the bill. Like I said, he would. This guy's still undecided. Still undecided. And this guy's in favor now. So we're going to try and turn TK on the last turn. And there's also uh, Tina Tolson here with her too, which I think we can try and make on her side. So I think we'll, we'll have way more... Well, plenty of people to make sure that the 60% doesn't happen. In our last seven turns, let's, let's turn some undecideds. Get um, Sammy Black back in. He'll fold. Threaten to fund his opposition. Piece of cake. Edwards. Um, let's encourage his citizens. Didn't push him out of undecided, which is odd. Um, we'll promise him some money this time. Maybe keep him out. Alright, we've only got four turns left. So I wanna... I wanna threaten to fund T. Tolson. Tina Tolson. And... We'll go do... Our Barry. See if we can get him back. By... Encouraging his district did not help. So still undecided. Uh, well, let's let's threaten him. That got him on board. And here's the last turn. Going for TK. By the way, is T Tolson? Uh, no, she's strongly in favor of the bill. We can't get her back. Should have used that turn on her. But let's um, let's threaten him and and pray. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Killed it. We killed it. So, let's have a look at this. Um, this is the votes. We have 22 were yes, and they needed 29 um, with the three absents. Uh, and we got those five, 25 no's. And we turned some Republicans. This little black letter here. Black R means Naomi Underwood, the Republican, voted a Democrat, and so did W. Anderson, T.K. Humphreys, of course. Um, the black ones are the absence. And no one on the Democratic side voted Republican. So, suck on that. <laughs> Alright, and here's Dr. President Hazel DVS, veterinarian. He's <laughs> telling us we did a good job. And here comes the next bill. This one's a Democratic bill by bill designer I. Montgomery. Uh, and that means we can request pork and concession rights, which is a lot of fun. Gives us a lot more wiggle room. We can now um, add pork to anyone, even if they're on our side. So we have a uh, rush to vote option here now because this is a uh, Democrat bill. And that means uh, if we click this, we can end the vote right now. Um, this is a power only we have. Republican Whip can't do this. Uh, but it changes it to an absolute majority, which means uh, because the uh, voting rules right now are a simple majority to pass, 50% of the vote, um, it'll still be 50%, but uh, absent votes will count against us. Uh, that's what an absolute majority means. But I think I think we can... I think we probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, the numbers don't look in our favor right now. And we have pork. We got pork to spend. So let's... let's um, And concessions to make. So concessions... Concessions are fairly useful against people who are strongly in favor of the party. Let's see if we can find someone like that. So this guy, I Burwell, uh, Ian Burwell, he's um, 
he highly favors his party. So normally, that'd be a pain in the ass for us. But what we can do is uh, reach a compromise with Bill Concession. And he declined it. And that's going way over the line. That's a bug I need to fix. Good thing I showed it in a Let's Play. Let's see if we can't... Uh, let's uh, get some of these Democrats back on our side. Um, and he's in favor of his district. We'll add some pork. Win-win. Win-win-win. Um, here, you get some pork. You get some pork. Look, it's it's beautiful. It's so easy. Just give everyone pork. There's no lobby on this bill. So money is all in our hands. Me and the Republican whip. We just uh, turned TD case, I guess. Or, yeah. Um, so let's... Um, she, she doesn't have any blue opposition, so I don't have a problem uh, giving her some pork if that'll turn her, which it doesn't. She declines it. Um, let's, let's get her district on board. There we go. Now she's in opposition to the bill. Um, so now it's very much blue, blue, red, red. Um, we could try and turn some against or some undecideds. Mm. Mm. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get some undecideds, especially these blues. We can't have you guys. Let's use a pork since I got it. I'm just going to give pork to everyone until I run out of turns, basically. <laughs> um, we've got to get this immigration act through. Can't let down Dr. President. Um, you know, my mom, she reckons there's no way that Americans would ever vote in a doctor president like I have in this game. Um, because, you know, thinky, talky people. Um, who, who would vote for? Americans would never vote for someone so, you know, with credentials. Why would you want someone with credentials? Yeah, who had gone to college and knows how to uh, do things. Um, but I think my guy, doc Dr. Hessel, would, um, would do pretty good because he's not, a, he's not a people doctor. No one cares about people doctors. Um, but he's an he's a animal doctor. He gets to have, um, you know, puppies in his ads, in his campaign ads. And um, he has to shit talk his uh, his rivals while he like castrates a pig. <laughs> it would be great. He there's no way he wouldn't win as a veterinarian. That's what you need in Congress. So <laughs> we've got six turns left, and I think we've I think we've got this maybe. Look, we got 18 four, five strongly four. I got all five of his guys undecided. I think we've got this. Um, I'm tempted to do rush the vote, but I, I can't. I'm not that good at math. Would we win this? 18, um, 19, 20, He's got 22. Plus the five. No, that wouldn't work out. Um, I want to show you the rush the vote. But I mean, uh, I'm sure you get how it works. Now is not the time. I would lose this and look very stupid. Um, mm, promise him something. Very nice. Uh, he favors his conscience. And he's not doing that much. Let's threaten him. Very good. So all these promises and threats I'm, I've been making to turn people, uh, these aren't consequenceless things that you can just throw around. Although, why wouldn't you? Um, you gotta make up all these promises and threats you make. Or at least the ones that, um, that go through. Um, if you look here in the party info, 
You have um, the expected election funds, which is uh, the amount of representatives you have times two. And you have the pledged election funds that have been proposed during uh, this bill. And the uh, pledged election funds that have been confirmed from previous bills. And uh, what these mean is that uh, you owe people money. If you threaten someone and they vote, end up voting your way, then you are going to have to make up, uh, make good on that threat by funding their opposition come election time. And um, if you let's compromise this guy, see if that does it. Ah, never works. Never works. Yep. Do that again. No. Nope. All right, I got one turn left. I think we'll do all right. I think we're gonna win this. I think. So yeah, um, what was I saying? If you, um, oh, shit, comes. We did it. We did it. All right, let's move on. Um, yes, we're doing great. Thank you, thank you, sir. Pleased to, I salute you. Um, yep. Alright, so we've got a drop here. We've got uh, Captain Hollis of the DCPD, who's just um, delivered some some beautiful information on N. Thompson. Um, and so now we've got these options that we can uh, force submission with his dark secret, or release the dark secret to the media. Now, um, you might have noticed these options, dig for skeleton and pass, I've been ignoring them. and But what they do is they allow you to try and find a secret, but we get one for free each, um, each uh, cycle, basically. And um, so let's try and force submission, let's get him to do whatever we want. So after revealing your knowledge of his dark secret, Georgia representative N. Thompson decided it would be best to work with you. So now he is never going to go against us on a bill. He, um, so this is a Republican bill, and he, so he will be undecided. And if we wanted, we could force him to vote on uh, for, with us by uh, you know calling on him. But each time we do something like that, we increase the amount of stress he's under, which um, which uh, risks him uh, potentially bailing. Uh, anyone could end up, um, anyone could just, uh, decide to leave Congress at any time. It's a total, totally plausible thing to give up power, especially if someone's holding a secret over you. Um, so we have an uphill battle for this, um, Minimum Wage Abolishment Act. Republicans really want to get rid of the minimum wage and some of the Democrats do as well and there's a lobby for this bill which makes it even harder um, so we have a lot of work to do we have our work cut out for us all right we are making progress um, and a lot of that progress is down to the Republican whip doing nothing right now. Um, that's because he is in such a strong position. The Republican w whip is kind of lazy. So as long as I think, uh, I think as long as we are just taking back Democrats, for now he will not care. And just let us do what we want. Uh, threaten him. Very good. Let's promise him. Uh, let's promise him. All right now, the Republican whip has gone back into action at uh, 11 turns remaining. He's talked to S uh, Sammy Black, Samuel. Um, let's threaten him. Now, let's see. We need to turn some of these stronglies. We got TK Humphreys and T. Tolson in here, which 
they both, as you remember, are very weak to money, so we'll leave them for the last two turns this time. See if we can get both of them. Um, let's check out their caucus. Their caucus. Uh, strongly, strongly, strongly. So let's get some of these people. ready to flip when I flip a TK. And we got six turns left. I'm not sure we're going to make this. The Berlin game has a Democratic rival. At come election time, we'll need to Try and get her, but um, kind of like Berlin game. It always comes along with whatever Tina has to say. Um, we got two blues here. We can turn back. Republican whip is having a nap. Um, Last turn, a big old promise to TK, and and the jury says, shit. Uh, well, you can't win them all. So, I mean, this one, it seems like everyone's in favor of this bill. Uh, neighbor needs a hand for an aid act. Even though it's a democratic bill, everyone wants to give foreign aid. So let's just rush the vote. I mean, or we could give the Republican whip a chance while we try and collect skeletons. Uh, no, we'll rush the vote. <laughs> I don't want to risk it. I don't, I don't want to risk losing something we have so strongly on camera. Um, so that was an easy win there after a disappointing loss. Um, yeah, we are making history. Thank you, Dr. President. Um, so the, here we have the presidential budget, which, um, happens every, every, uh, cycle. And he says, nothing much to ask of you this time around. I just need Congress to approve my budget. I can't even imagine a universe where such a simple and critically important task, such as keeping the government funded, would be made into a political wedge issue. Uh, by the way, this is a normal bill that you can add pork or concessions to, even though it's our uh, Democrat bill. Uh, although I'm sure you knew that already, I'm counting on you. Whip the vote. Whip the vote. So, uh, yeah, this is a budget. And the Republican whip is going to try and kill it just to make the party just to make uh, us Democrats and the president look bad. Um, this bill is special in that um, uh, there's r this new concept called riders. So there's Democrat ri riders and Republican riders and both me and um, the, the Republican whip can request riders. And what riders do is, you've probably heard of them uh, whenever a budget comes around. It's a bunch of dumb, unrelated stuff uh, pegged onto the the budget which normally should pass no problem um, all right we could easily rush the vote to pass this I think um, but I kind of want to show you what riders look like so let's get all good old TK Humphreys and request him to create a rider um, so TK Humphrey started to work on drafting a rider. If not delayed, it will be presented in three turns time. And so we could delay the creation of a rider. There's two turns remaining on it. Um, he just talked with T. Tolson, trying to flip her. And she is in opposition now. Let's, um, let's get her to create a rider too. So when we request a rider of Republicans, we make the budget more Republican friendly. 
they like their riders. So we've got her making a rider now. Um, I think we should probably just make tons of Republican riders and hope that the Democrats still want to want the president's budget to pass. Um, that's plenty of work for drafting a rider. Yep. TK Humphrey's rider, a retailered version of the Invisible Hand Reach Around Minimum Wage Abolishment Act, has been appended to the bill. I don't know why he needs to do that. We just, that just, um, got passed. But, okay then. He wants, um, <laughs> he wants not only there to not be a minimum wage, but he wants, um, he wants employer, employees to pay their employers. So, <laughs> let's, um... Let's see, so we got one rider added, and I'm going to try and get some undecideds, uh, just normally. So T. Tolson's rider, a retailer version of the Moocher Booter Welfare Abolishment Act, has been appended to the bill. So at this point, if um, Congress passes this presidential budget, there's going to be people um, without welfare. <laughs> um, R. Lovell's rider, a retailer version of the Texas Infrastructure Project Immigration Act has been uh, appended to the bill. So he wants to build a wall on the Texas border, and he added that to the bill, because why not? <laughs> um, so we got three Re Republican riders on this. Let's, re let's request some riders. Let's, let's try and make this bill so weird. Uh, S. Black's writer, retailer version of the Do Something About It Already Gun Control Act has been appended to the bill. So that wasn't a writer I requested. Um, Sammy Black's was requested by Republican Whip, um, who's now visiting C. Thornton. Probably ask. Oh, yep, see? She's got a writer. Um, let's delay her writer. H. Montgomery's writer, retailer version of the Second Amendment, Blowjob Gun Freedom Act has been appended to the bill. Very nice. More guns for everyone. Uh, just what I want, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, W.E. Jones' writer, retailer version of the Second Amendment, Blowjob. They all like the Second Amendment, Blowjob Gun Freedom Act, so they're all going to be appending it. Um, we flipped a TK. Got 12 turns remaining, and things are looking all right. All right, we still got 22 on our side. Not bad. Um, although that could be could be better. Okay, you make a rider. Thank you, and. You too. Everyone gets to make a rider. Um, C. Thornton's rider, which we did not request. Or did we? I don't remember. <laughs> a retailed version of the Not In My Backyard Fracking Ban Act has been appended to the bill. Uh, N.D. Balaginis, uh, a retailed version of The Neighbor Needs a Hand for an Aid Act has been appended to the bill. Everyone likes the Foreign Aid Act. Um, so let's... Get, get back where you were. Move it. Uh, SR Berlin Games writer or retailer version. The Golden Trickle Tax Cut Act has been appended to the bill. We're going to give those employers some tax breaks. Why not? Um, let's see. Uh, S. Blake's writer or retailer version of the support of American Technologies Fracking Expansion Act has been appended to the bill. So we, we have uh, both a fracking banning act and a fracking expansion act on this. Um, M. Mahoney's writer, a retailer version of the Neighbor Needs a Hand Foreign Aid Act, another Foreign Aid Act added. Um, let's... <laughs> let's... Um, yep. And... Look at all these people lost all these how did we lose 22 we had so many people okay create a rider 
That's because all these Democrat writers we've been getting. Here's one for the uh, decrim uh, Recreational Drug Decriminalization Act. Um, right, let's go. Let's go to some of these people who've added writers that are getting all these Republicans moving to the against column, and let's um, demand them to remove them. Nope, DeWitt re refused to scrap the writer and was so infuriated by the demand that he has now further increased its legal reach. That's a terrible thing you just did, DeWitt. We're trying to... Alright, let's see. Alright, um... Alright, he favors the party, so this time, when I demand it, he will definitely... Alright, he scrapped the writer. Um... Yep, we got a new... Republican writer and a new Democratic writer. Um, let's see who we can see who who has a writer. We've only got four turns left. I'm trying to see if I can get those Republicans back over here that I lost like an idiot. Uh, who has, all right, there we go, um, he has the party in second, so I think we can, I think we can demand the removal, there we go, um, he, he has a rider, uh, he ha holds the party in very low regard, so let's just negotiate this rider, um, He's uh, reworked it. Wait, who is this? W. Pike uh, pended the Walk in Another Man's Shoes Gay Marriage Conscription Act, which obviously uh, means that everyone has to get gay married. Very nice. Uh, um, Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this is not looking great. Uh, we've only got two turns left, so let's see if we can't do our old classic promising money to T. Tolson and T.K. Humphreys is already on our side, so um, let's have a look at his caucus. His cockety caucus. His big old caucus. He's in opposition to the bill. Let's all right, I guess this is the last turn. Please, please don't lose the budget. It was so simple. All right, we did it. <laughs> that was close. Um, we beat it by four. Not too bad. Um, yep, yep, yep. I'm doing a great job. Thank you very much. Elections! The most exciting time of the year. For politicians and hedge funds, I'm leaving you in charge of who will be will be putting our money behind. Remember, any promises or threats you made that you don't honor will lower all the representatives' trust of you in the in the um, if the representative you promised or threatened returns to office. Oh, and just in case you haven't noticed, our funding amount is tied to. The, I've already told you all of this, so go net us some more seats. Thank you, Dr. President. So um, what we have here is elections. So we got. Um, the names have been changed to the states. Um, I'd like to point out that this is definitely not an educational game because um, the this is supposed to be a simulation of Congress, but Congress has way more than 50. I, this might be, maybe I should have done it about the Senate. <laughs> um, the Congress only has 50, which, I mean, uh, Congress has like 400 something representatives, unlike the Senate. Um, anyway, so these P's here, these black P's, means we pledged some funds. And um, uh, the black names of the states means there's both a Democrat and a Republican fighting it out. So these are the places we want to dump some money into. So we have pledged two funds to uh, Sammy Black, good old Sammy Black. So let's give him what he wanted. Um, there's one there. Do we? Yeah. Uh, Tennessee, we got one pledge over here. California, we got one pledge, but he's also up against a Republican. 
and he's losing pretty bad. Um, we got these polling projections here based on the funds. Uh, it's important to po point out that these polling projections don't take into account any money that the Republican whip will give out. So you probably want to do a bit more than you need. So let's give him 11 funds, try and win California or keep California. Um, give him some money. Let's see, Idaho. Yeah, there you go. There's your money. Take your damn money. Uh, oop. Uh, Vermont. Don't want Vermont going to a Republican. Ah, oh, geez, I ran out of funds. Um, still got. So that looks like a bug on my part. Why is Georgia red? But the name is black. Ooh, that's fun. Anyways, we're going to end it here as I confirm my election fund distribution. Try and win some more seats. Um, we got plus one. Not bad. Yep, let's turn the entire country blue. So I'm going to end it here on the Not Our Problemo Foreign Aid Repeal Act. Whoosh. Um, so that's with the vote. Um, you can buy it on Itch.io for $12. Hold on, let me do this. $12 on Itch.io with the vote. You can also buy it in a bundle for... Uh, with restricted RPS for $14, save four bucks. Wow, save four dollars. And um, <laughs> um, I'm also uh, looking to translate this game. So if you uh, have English as a second language, um, I'm looking for you know Spanish and German and uh, one of the Portugueses. Translate this game, and uh, I'll I'll give you the game for free. So just email me, uh, pigpen at googunproduce.com, and yeah, with the vote.